Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, The Network of Viking. Well, today we're gonna to talk about how to create a CSR using OpenSSL. A CSR is a certificate signing request. It's an essential step if you need to get an SSL certificate to enable secure connections to whatever resources you wanna access. And that takes us to our second question. What is OpenSSL? Well, OpenSSL is a powerful tool set for cryptography, and that's gonna allow you to basically generate keys, certificates, and a lot of other things. Now, let's talk about this command that you see on the screen and where am I running this command? I'm on my Windows machine right now and I am using the WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux, and I chose Kali Linux. Now, you can do the same if you're on a Windows machine. Once you have it installed, you can go ahead and run the, this OpenSSL uh, command. Uh, and for those of you who want to know more about WSL, I'm going to put a link in the description or in a pinned comment. And uh, let's say you want to go ahead and run OpenSSL once everything else is done. You have the subsystem running and everything. And let's say you do not have OpenSSL in there and you're running something like Kelly Linux. Then you can just go ahead and run apt-get install OpenSSL or sudo apt-get uh, install OpenSSL and then go ahead and run this command right away. So what is this command? Let's talk about each and every component right now. All right, so OpenSSL. Well, it is the command we use to start the OpenSSL toolset, REQ. What is it? It stands for a request and it's the part of the command where we specify that we want to create a new CSR. What is hyphen a new? Well, it tells the OpenSSL that we're creating a new request. Wait a second. So what is the difference between REQ and hyphen new? So REQ is the subcommand for CSR management and hyphen new is the option you use with REQ when you want to create a brand new CSR and commonly a new private key. All right, so what is hyphen new key RSA 2048? When you talk about this, it generates a new private key using the RSA algorithm with a key size of 2048 bits. Now this is a secure and widely accepted standard. Don't go below 2048, even when you're dealing with a client certificate, a CS certificate. Um, and I'm talking about, especially in context of uh, secure access, if you sign a certificate, uh, you know, you have the client certificate as 1024 uh, bits or the CA root certificate uh, with 1024 bits or anywhere lower than 2048 for that matter. Um, it's going to cause problems. It's not going to possibly accept it. And even if it accepts it, um, the authentication is uh, going to fail. So make sure uh, you keep it uh, at least 2048. All right. All right, so when you talk about hyphen N-O-D-E-S, this does not mean nodes, it's actually no D-E-S, all right? So when you include this in your command, it's gonna ensure the private key is not password protected. Okay, how's that useful? Well, this is useful for server environments where you don't wanna enter the password every time you restart, and it, it is useful for other scenarios as well. But anyways, that's about it. So what is hyphen key out? When you talk about hyphen key out, you got to mention uh, your domain name dot key. Well, it's not necessary that you mention your domain name, but it's a good practice. You mention your domain name dot key. So I'm using the network of Viking dot key. So you can replace it with your domain uh, name dot key. Well, it specifies the file name. That's it for the private key. Well, that's pretty much it for this. So when you use this, you mention your domain name dot key. Well, this will be the file name for your private key. And then you have the hyphen out, the network viking dot CSR. When you talk about this, it indicates the file name for the CSR. Again, replace the network viking with your domain name. All right, so let me just go ahead and execute this command. But before that, let me go ahead and clear the screen. All right, let's go for it. All right, as you can see, we're in the Linux subsystem and you can access it from here. Go to Linux, Kelly Linux, and reach out to this folder right here, as you can see, right? And you'll see the file populate in this section right here, okay? Oh, I don't know why I made that, but anyways, let me just go ahead and clear that out and go ahead and hit enter now. Okay, country name. I'm gonna go with India. I'm gonna say state of province. 
uh, JNK is in Jammu and Kashmir, and then I say locality, Srinagar, and I'm going to say organization name. I'm going to go with Cisco organizational unit. I'm going to say SA, as in secure access, right? Common name, um, server FQDN or your name. I'm going to go with uh, the network uh, uh, Viking. So you can go for this. This is usually your domain name. So yeah, that's what I went for it. And then you go for the email address. I'm going to say asan at the network uh, Viking dot com hit enter uh not required not required really all right that's pretty much it now um oh it doesn't show up like this okay no problem i'm going to click on home and then i'm going to click on kelly again and there you go you see right here dot csr and dot key right here all right so let me just highlight it just to make sure yep there you go Right, so just to recap, we created a CSR and a private key using OpenSSL. Now you can go ahead and submit your CSR uh, to a certificate authority to obtain the SSL certificate. Now in case, uh, let's say um, you're not able to copy these files, the .csr .key from this folder over to you know, the downloads, desktop, or whatever. So you can use, uh, you can use chmod um, and then mention whatever codes you want to mention for it, depending on your security level, right? And then mention the network uh, viking.star should be good, I believe. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you do this, mention your domain name, a dot, and then the star. If you want to copy the key uh, as well as the CSR. If you just want to copy the key or the CSR, sorry, then you can just go for dot CSR and that's it. And then go ahead and copy uh, or move the file uh, from this folder over to any other folder and then basically give it to your CA, right? And just to let you know that OpenSSL is actually useful for other purposes as well. Let's say you're presented sometimes with a certificate uh, type, which um, is, is something that you're not okay with uh, when you're trying to import it into a device or something, right? You basically have to convert that certificate into something else from .cer to .crt or .pem or whatever, right? You can use OpenSSL to do that as well. In case you don't want to use OpenSSL to do that, you can also get it done from SSL uh, Shopper website, right? Um, so I'd like to say that, um, you know, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you found this video useful, helpful, and please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, um, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.